Hey friends, it's Pastor Jack Mantrick, pastor of Central United Methodist Church right here in Waterford, Michigan. And this is my daily devotion for Thursday, December 2nd. Can you believe it? Here we are uh, two days into December. We are in the first week of Advent, which is a season of anticipation and celebration and desiring uh, God to come into our midst uh, once again through the Christ child. I believe that happens not just 2,000 years ago, but it happens every year of our lives. It's a time in which we can focus on our need for Christ and Christ's entry into this world, God's entry into this world, into human history, so that all of human history would be transformed and changed. So uh, I'm going to read a little bit about how that journey began with Mary. We've been talking about Mary and her humble beginnings and how God uses the humble and the lowly and the meek to do wondrous and wonderful things in the world. So I'm going to read this. This comes from Luke's gospel, the first chapter, uh, verses 26 uh, through uh, 38. All right, here we go. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was very perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne, give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Israel, uh, uh, well, the house of Jacob forever. Israel was his other name, uh, forever. And, his, and of his kingdom, there will be no end. Mary uh, said to the angel, how can this be since I am a virgin? And the angel said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child will be born, will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for which, uh, for her, who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. May God add a blessing to that reading and hearing of that holy word. <laughs> you know, it may very well be that the true miracle of Christmas is Mary saying yes to God. For God calls the humble and the lowly to greatness and working toward God's greatest purposes here on earth. So I want you to think about this. How have you been called by God? I truly believe, friends, that we are all called by God. We talk about how we are called to certain uh, vocations, certain jobs, certain relationships, you know, based on our talents, our abilities, our availabilities, and, and our uh, uh, just circumstances. But more than that, I believe that God calls us to do great things, all of us to do great things for his kingdom here on earth. And yes, we are here to use our talents. We are here to use our education. We are here to use um, our inclinations toward the greatest purposes that God would have us on earth to let the earth know that our God is a God of love and we are called to that same love of everyone in the world. So to be realistic, saying yes to God means saying no to other things in our lives. It becomes a matter of setting priorities and accepting that we just can't do everything. <laughs> so how would your life change in answering God's call upon your life? Where does your heart or where has your heart ached in the past that you knew you should follow a certain path? And perhaps you have followed that path and it was meaningful for you. Perhaps you've not yet begun that journey. And maybe you're sorrowful for lost opportunities and maybe lost time in following that path that you believe that God might, by, might be calling you toward. So I want you to think about what blessings would you anticipate 
in answering God's call in the affirmative? And what challenges might you face? Meditate on those questions and, con and, and consider joining Mary uh, and saying yes to God. I want you to think about that today. What does saying yes to God mean to you? Having been called by God. I'll leave it at that. Let's pray. Gracious God, we do thank you for your goodness, for your call upon our lives, for the talents that you give us, the inclinations that will bring you honor, the relationships with which we can uh, live fully for your great purposes. Together, help us to be the body of Christ in the world today. Help us to be your very presence in the world so that others may call you uh, Almighty God, Prince of Peace, loving Savior. May it be so, in the name of our loving Savior, Jesus the Christ, and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey, friends, have a great Thursday. Think about joining us for worship this next Sunday. We uh, meet at, at 1130 on Sunday morning in person at our address at 3882 Highland Road. Or you can join us by live streaming. The link for our services uh, can be found on our website, www.waterfordcumc.org. If you believe these uh, devotions would be helpful to others, please click the share button and then share it with your friends. Again, God bless.